This is a Game Caviar production. Not having in the Game Caviar Studios playing some Saints Row in lieu of the new Saints Row game coming out later on this year. Look at my cool whip. Isn't it awesome? Watch what I'm about to do with it. Get the wheels spinning. Get the wheels spinning. And then jet, jet off. Take off. Jettison. I jettisoned this car. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys about something serious today. Real serious issue. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I want to talk about sex in video games because that's awesome. Do you think that sex will sell video games? Do you? Do you? Oh, you do. Well, why do you? Why do you feel that way? I'll tell you what I feel. Sex is going to make anything look better, more appealing. It's going to help sell everything. I can't believe I got that car stuck on a barrel for crying out loud. Anyway, we've already seen sex in video games. There's tons of sexual things in this video game. They have a, a bat that's like a dildo for crying out loud. And I believe if this video lasts long enough, I end up showing it. But uh, what I think about sex in video games is that it's always, it's always going to be part of the video game genre. Especially since the society is moving ever more towards like sexual openness and unrestrained sexual preference and showing of sexual things so we have game ratings for a reason and the mature re rating is for games that have unbelievable violence <laughs> unbelievable violence uh sexual stuff and um very explicit material uh, language now they have uh, a rating that says AO for adults only but as far as I know in America no game has ever been rated AO so what do you guys think about sex and video games do you like it you think it's awesome I think it's pretty cool you know <clears throat> because uh, it, it it's cool if it actually helps the story or goes along with the video game and it doesn't look like it's it's um, not rushed, but forced into the game. Like uh, Mass Effect, you had the the choice of having sex with some of your crewmates, but it wasn't like a mission. Like it wasn't like you had to do it. It was optional. In this game, there are tons of sexual things, but uh, there were some missions that that did pertain to sexual things, uh, but it wasn't like this whole game was surrounded or encompassed by just doing a bunch of sexual stuff no there's a, a storyline that they follow and all the sex stuff is cool but it's not like a make or break like they need to have it in the game in order for it to progress that's what i like like i don't my i'm an adult and i don't mind if you throw sexual stuff into video games like grand theft auto 4 had the strip club so i don't mind that but i don't like it if it like takes away from the game itself and and really drags down the storyline or the game in general so uh will developers always use sex in video games i don't know i, I really i honestly i don't know um but i would think that in that certain games will always have sexual stuff in it grand theft auto you know you you probably you always be gonna be able to pick up the hookers and and like you know, take them in the back alley and, and screw them and beat them up and take your money back. I mean, that's like, that 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 goes along with Grand Theft Auto. You know, when, when Grand Theft Auto 3 came out and then I was cruising around and, you know, the hooker got in my car and I was like, what the hell is this? This is crazy, you know? And, yeah, I mean, like, like I said, it's cool because it doesn't take away from the main aspect of the game. And in this game, it's cool. Like I said, you have that big, you have that big, it's like the size of a bat, but it's a big, long dildo. It's funny. Things like that are funny. You can dress your character in any way with thongs and whatever. That's just, I mean, that's that's just a preference, you know? And it's fun to do stuff like that. And if you're an adult and you don't have a problem with it, then by all means, do it, you know? I'm not saying that games that are tailored to children should have sexual stuff in it because number one i believe that's illegal and number two is sick and i don't think that parents should be buying kids games that have the uh, mature rating because it's definitely not made for them just think of how many kids you see on call of duty 
That's always yapping it up, yapping out. They're the most annoying, annoying things that you come across on the internet. Kids on Call of Duty. Trust me. And it's just, you know, because parents don't care. They just buy the kids whatever. Uh, I don't agree with that. But uh, sex and video games, yes. I vote yes. It's not like up for like congressional discussion or anything. You know, they're more worried about violence. This is how messed up it is. They're more worried about violence in video games than sex in video games. So that just goes to show you how, how much sex in general is accepted by society. When people start to worry more about violence in video games than the sexual content in video games, then that just lets you know that sex itself is like A-OK -okay with the majority of society. And you're never going to get rid of violence in video games. There's always going to be some sort of violence in video games. Donkey Kong will always... Uh, there, there will always be the Donkey Kong that will throw the barrel and try to kill people with it. Uh, Mario will always jump on the turtle's heads and kill them. And the mushrooms. You will always have guns in, in games like... Uh, Grand Theft Auto and Saints Row, you will always have fatalities in Mortal Kombat. There will always be uh, Mass Effect where you where you have to go kill alien races and, and things like that. You know, enemies that are of not human and some are human. You know, Dead Space where you got to kill the Necromorphs. I mean, come on. Black Ops for crying out loud. Call of Duty in general. Uh, Battlefield. There's always going to be violence in video games. There's no way to curtail that if you don't like violent video games don't buy them just leave them alone you know the whole aspect of uh violence in video games makes people kill is stupid in my opinion but i'm getting off topic i'm not here to talk about violence in video games i'm here to talk about sex and i'm okay with it anyway this video has gone on long enough i'm not having it in the game caviar studios and this has been saints row the third on ps3 e3 starts tomorrow or later on today, and Saints Row is coming out later on this year. Trust me. It's going to be 2013, as this year progresses throughout the summer and the winter, in the video game market, it's going to get hotter and hotter. I'm telling you. But anyway, again, I'm not having any Game Caviar Studios in the mouth. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.